Today we will visit the mysterious land of Graffy Land. Their terrain looks different than ours. I can see all the checked square boxes everywhere with lines all around. This Graffy Land seems quite strange to me. It's all made up of square boxes of unit length. Can you hear that noise? Let's go and check. Oh, see, here two citizens have a disagreement because they can't decide which plot is larger. Can we help them to solve this? Let's count the number of boxes in the first plot. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9. Okay. Let's count the number of boxes in the second plot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ha! Huh. That means plot B is larger. Do you know what we just calculated? We calculated the area of both plots. The amount of surface enclosed by a closed figure is called its area. It specifies the amount of space inside any closed figure. We need to calculate area when we buy or sell a plot of land, paint a wall or need to put tiles on a floor. Oh, I hear few more noises. Let's move ahead and check. It's a pond. Fishes are jumping and swimming. What is the area of this lake? It's trickier than before, since the lake is not made up of complete squares. Wait, we can count the boxes, but first we need to categorize them as fully filled squares, half filled squares, more than half filled squares, less than half filled squares. Now, let's count. So, how many fully filled squares are there? Yes, 11. Perfect. Let's now count half fill squares. 1, 2, 3. Hmm, and now how many more than half fill squares do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mm hmm, how many less than half fill squares? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, let's put together our observations now. We have 11 fully filled squares, so their area will be 11. For half filled square, we will multiply the number by half. This gives us 3 by 2, which is 1.5. Now, for the squares that are more than half filled, we will count them as one square each. And for the ones that are less than half filled, we will count them as 0. This will roughly balance out the areas covered by the lake in these two types of squares. This gives us a total area of the pond as 19 and half squares. Now all the areas have same unit based on the unit of length taken. The method we learned to find area is called counting square method. We can apply the same concept in the real world by using a squared paper or a graph paper. Now you know what an area is and how to calculate them. You can calculate the size of your cell phone or calculator. And while you try that, remember, we stay curious. 